We're going back out. You gonna get us some meat or what? Hopefully, I'm getting distance. Actually, it was in distance earlier, but it wasn't broadside, so I didn't want to shoot it in the butt. <laughs> so, hopefully this time it gets broadside and I'll blast it. I got the one rate mobile. Snow in the afternoon. I'm just bringing everything this time because we forgot everything in the morning. So water, tripods, all the good stuff in this bag right here. We're not even going to be hiking a whole, whole lot. So This is a for sure deal. <laughs> we saw where those bucks ended up going or they ended up bedding and stuff. So if they're still in that same area, they bedded where we think they did. Then if they're getting up just about right now. We'll be able to see them, make a move on them. And there should be a nice size three points back there. So let's go do it. Let's roll on out. Let's go do it. Alright, so we made it to our spot, and now, uh, yeah, just talking a little loud there, I'm used to filming without deer hunting, it's been so long, but made it to our spot, and so we got just a little bit of a hike ahead of us, not much. This morning, there was actually a decent three point that I saw that ended up pulling all the deer when they spooked this morning, and you bedded up in this real thick stuff over here, and we kept picking them apart and stuff, and seeing them stand up every once in a while, so we're going to sit to where we can see that and wherever they might be moving. See if we can't relocate them and cut them off when they're moving and put a bullet through one. So it should be a good hunt. So that means I hear you? Of course. Let's do it. Shot. Yeah, our last spot we just we just got spooked out by the does and they all took off So as we were walking back saw a buck took a shot We've been looking for him for a couple minutes wanted to let him sit for a little bit But it's starting to get dark so it's getting a little harder, but that was a good shot looking. though Like he said all them does busts we walked a little bit farther and this big old buck came walking out And he put up on the sticks and smoked them. We just gave him a little bit of time to wait awesome. Ready to see them antlers we Congratulations Oh, wait, 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 wait. There he is. He's still not completely dead. All right, guys, so we got the job done. This is actually my second buck, but we didn't get much footage about it because it kind of happened quick. The doe spooked all the deer off, and then he hopped out, so I popped the shot. Yo, crazy Jew here got it done. He's getting tall. Oh, got it. Yeah, got it but, done. Uh, awesome, awesome shot, awesome everything. This is the biggest buck we saw this whole trip so far. I saw probably 20-ish does or so but there wasn't no bucks moving towards us. So as it started to get dark, um, we started heading back towards the truck or towards the razor we were driving in that Joel's got. And uh, this group of does popped up. They all busted out, took off running, and right behind it was this buck. What, you say about 50 yards? About 50 yards, 70 yards-ish. Not too far. Juju put a nice shot on him. Senior was behind a shot. little bit and didn't manage to get it on film. You can see he kind of slumped up like he was hit and he went and laid down so we said we're going to give him a little bit of time. 
when we finally decided to walk up on him he lifted his head a little bit so we just let him sit for a little while before we actually walked up on him just to make sure you know we didn't bust him up and he took off running because it's real thick country out here and you can lose him real easy so yeah and the reason why i didn't get it is because we <laughs> went to go film the museum earlier if you haven't seen that video go check it out but we went to film the museum and we got about an hour and a half worth of footage there and our batteries on the camera two batteries all the way down to less than three minutes so when that went down we had like literally less than three minutes yeah he was trying to be real lenient on the footage we've yeah. seen tons and tons of does this whole trip he didn't want to just keep it, filming does it happened so fast you don't even have time to pull out the camera it's kind of like rush rush and then you just get it done so how's it feel so. to get another nice buck done huh? feels good it feels <laughs> feels good and look at get the next one two more tags this year let's see if he can punch all three deer tags hopefully we get the utah one on film kill yeah. shot and everything that one we will because that's a lot more open country and we can actually you know glass far and stuff it's not mm -hmm. as much of jumping the bucks but yep still a nice deer real nice deer. it was a crazy night last night yep cleaned it up and everything Had already some good food it's already chopped up in the cooler I mean, we we could have just did without ice probably and just left it open. Yeah, it was free. Got pretty cold last night, but something made our trash. Something got us last night. Man of the hour, Juju. Yep. So overall, this was a very successful hunt in our books. Nice, fun hunt. Ended up with a good little buck there. Juju, you like the buck you got? Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice buck. I'm not complaining. At least you got the job done. Did a lot of the work in the dark, but we got all the meat right there. In that ice chest, canyon cooler. Juju, the man of the year. Three tags, we have nothing. He's making it happen, he's one for one. In a week we're gonna be Utah. Utah, Utah and then like two weeks we're gonna be in Arizona. So mm -hmm. he's gonna be busy with this uh, stuff online, schooling and all that. It's a pain, we understand, because Juju's out here trying to get service out in the middle of nowhere and <laughs> trying to get his schoolwork done, but everything's good. We're having a good time. So now we're gonna take a couple pictures. Thought I'd try to break the camera before they left. Yeah. We got to live it up. Big trailer. He brought the whole setup, the whole rig. Slept like a million dollars out here. Final. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna have to buy one. Whole buck, huh? Overall, Juju. Be proud of that. Mm hmm It's a nice buck. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Unique. Yep. Two crab claw. Juju looks too tired to talk. It's a little early. <laughs> I was saying I never seen a tour. It's had two sets of crab claws on one side. Crabby on both. Yeah, that's. I wouldn't even really consider that. Yeah, that's a whole lot of crabbies. Bad, He's decent. Crab claw and you know like this somewhat bad really genetics. Yeah. When you have these little claws here, they, if you get them this deep, then you're talking 200 inch bucks right there. So. That's what we're after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Monday. like this would be the this front. This would side. make a heck of a knife handle right there. <laughs> That's what my dad would say. <laughs> I don't think you're going to do knife handles though, are you? I don't know, probably not. You're going to hang probably that up on your wall. Up. Nice Euro mount. Tells a story. All right, Joel, thank you for everything. All your hey. hospitality and introducing us to your family. Yeah, awesome. that, was, that was cool. That was really cool. Awesome what you guys have going on. You're doing a ton for the hunting community. It's amazing. Well, we're grateful to work with you guys and what you guys represent. This is what it's all about. Hunting's about spending time with family and friends and filling the freezer and yep. bringing home a trophy that, uh, you know, tells a story. For the rest of Julian's life, when he sees that deer on the wall, he's going to remember this, this trip. So, yeah. making memories. That's for sure. Yep. All right. We'll see you later. I'm going to head home. Okay, Drive guys. Safe. Hey, take care. Yeah. Hey, Julian. Congratulations. We got less than 30 seconds of batteries. All right. All right, so Juju, great shooting. Proud of you. You got two more tags. Let's see if you can keep up the, the shot accuracy. But other than that, awesome hunt. Once again, thank you, Joel. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors. See you outdoors. Just got home off a long trip. Took a little nap, come outside. Trimming them up. Almost done. If you look done. in this ice chest, it's all the other stuff that's bagged up already. I see you. These guys are out here working. Lift up that bag of ice. Labeled. Dang. Yeah. All right. 
Gigi. Congrats on your dick. Thanks. Nice work. <laughs>